Rachel back with another video here on Live Study Hacks. Today we have a very important video to change your thinking for the greater good, to become higher than your environment and not to be confined in this bubble that we create for ourselves, to change the de-stress into ultimate ha happiness, to love yourself and not to be overwhelmed by your past trauma, to essentially not let the world dictate your thinking, but you control your own thoughts. If you want to achieve these things in your life, this is the right video for you. And surprisingly, in this video, you will learn that it all starts with a simple shift to your thinking, with the right steps applied. So before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel to help support the charity of children of incarcerated parents. Okay, let's jump into this video. The first step into changing your mindset from negativity to positivity is to spot the two different minds. The first is the default mind and the second is the direct mind. The default mind is one that many of us have when we create a routine for ourselves and that then becomes a program. Routines are good because it allows you to do habitual things, but on the other hand, doesn't allow you to um, it doesn't allow one to change their thinking. It makes you lose your um, free will to such li to such a limiting program. It, it, it's in a in a movie I was watching in school called Pay It Forward. There was a character named Mr. Simet, and he covers himself and likes to be limited to a routine. And if things don't go as planned, he feels crazy. But at the end of the movie, he recognizes this and changes this for him. And it's not just. Um, Mr. Simon, I know that even me feels so subjugated to a routine. It's sort of like this unseen hand doing this in my life. It becomes almost something that you do without thinking. Or, other, or, or other people refer to it as the, um, the default mind. But Live Study Hackers, it is now the time to change that redundancy of the cycle until it becomes 90% of who you are when you are 35 years old. The memorized things you're doing right now function like a computer mind. When you get to this age, when you get to this age, but there is that 5% of your subconscious mind telling you that you want to be healthy and you want to have this free and desired lifestyle and need, and you need to let that 5% become who you are. However, there's something within you that's limiting you from doing that, getting that 5% to really um, take function in your body and and that is my friends your actual your body but you must recognize the two mi you must recognize these two minds to allow your body to listen to you and eliminate the trauma and the change that um, the change this straight the state of distress to one of joy and inspiration you can start now and right now we're all in this default mode according to dan gilbert of harvard who wrote the book stumbling on happiness 46.9 percent of pretty much half of our day is on autopilot or in other words in the default mode though thoughts drift during the, the state of mind when you go with about your day without thinking. However, the mode for us life study hackers that we need to reach is the direct mode. And this is when you are in a moment and you're controlling what you think about, physically making the choice. And you're gonna, and, and are you gonna not gonna repeat what you did? Or are you gonna be, and are you gonna evolve for the greater good? The ability to deliberately, deliberately choose what you think. And now that you, now that they're going to be, and know that they're going to be bad days and bad things are always going to happen, but you have to pick yourself right back up and, and do not let this default thinking, um, think that you're always going to have bad things happening to you. This thinking will become reality. And we're going to touch upon this in another tip. Know that this default mode network in your brain is when neurons in your mind automate these certain things. Like, but like I said before, do not allow it to affect your thinking pattern. Allow yourself to think that, no, and allow yourself to think that nobody likes you. You can do it. You can achieve this direct mode, and with these tips applied correctly, can really change how you, how you think, and therefore change your whole entire life. 
Next, you must recognize what limits you to succeed. Memorize me mem memories that often are connected to people and are mo and are moments that start their d their day. These emotions are the end product of past experiences and can often make you feel sad, depressed, or even happy. Your thoughts and memories define destiny, and we are and are essentially the de definition of emotion. These emotions can be often found from the from the root cause of your limiting beliefs. The desire of you wanting to grab your cell phone and check pictures and looking at Instagram to check the news um, and wanting to change your body image by looking at other people's pictures on social media is because of this limiting mind. You want to feel you want you feel you want to feel that you want to be connected to the outside world. And these limiting beliefs, such as "I'm never going to succeed," or, "I'm never going to get the grades," are things that are, that set you that set that set um, that set your mind and your body, and that's preventing you from doing what you want. So write down these limiting beliefs. This brings us to the next step. To solve this issue of, you know, limiting, limiting beliefs is to simply meditate and start asking yourself questions to distance you from society and what society wants you to think. I know that many of us had a lot of traumatizing past exper experiences. We sometimes recall these events. Our brain does not know the difference between it really happening, these bad experiences, or the way we are thinking about it. And in the same way, it fires and wires the same exact circuits. Our body is the unconscious mind. Our body is the mind. But if we deliberately think and direct the body, then it becomes the servant to our mind, as one steps into this place of this unknown. This unknown place can often become difficult and scary because many want to go back to having a life in which they can predict the the guiltiness and the suffering that they used to feel and but you must create this own future and this unknown and this unknown reality by simply closing your eyes in the present and change your neurological hardware and know that your brain is the map of the future and you can and you can become the happy person that you desire to be. You can teach your body the future and exhibit this, this quantum model of reality, being empowered and feeling the, these steps towards the ultimate success that you desire. To profoundly love yourself and be the person who caused an effect instead of looking at someone else who caused the happiness in your life. You can cause the own happiness and joy that you need. And this is super important. It's a real difference when you say it to yourself that you're the one that caused your own thinking, believing that you're in fact, you are in fact the creator of the world. For the majority of the people in the world today, I think 60 to 70 thousand of experiences from the day before uh, are what you think right now. As a result, your life will not change very much. If you are going to go through these same experiences, the sixty to seventy thousand experiences the day before and the same um, yesterday as the same today, you you're being limited. You're you're um you're going through these same experiences. But when you become more conscious towards your your unconscious state of mind, in other words, mega cognition, you exhibit to exhibit this mega cognition. You must become familiar with meditation and retire your old self. To give an analogy, it's like planting a garden and you take the plants and get rid of these emotional blocks and move these these plants to a new garden simply disconnecting yourself from society and sitting your body and training it like an animal and being and letting it like get into your thoughts leaving this energy out of the past and settling your body into the present your body's looking for a predictable statement. Meditation allows you to liberate yourself from the body and the mind. And just asking yourself three questions from your limiting beliefs. What will this, like ask, ask your, during this meditation period, ask yourself three questions from your limiting beliefs. What will this limiting belief will cost me in the past and in the present and in the future? The next step is to think positively and start creating the success you want in your life. Sometimes when you make fake excuses, become real in the mind. We want others to feel sympathy, but sometimes disbelief we we tell others can be induced in our own life. Feelings can define something that actually happens. Our mind is our most important 
important, powerful weapon. And you can choose the facts to make your brain think positively. It is by facts subject subjective reasoning you can choose how your mind works logically and you can reason your way to any conclusion most importantly a positive one this can lead to better outcomes in your life and turn and turn it to be your weapon you have a choice to think what you want and for me um, personally it is one in which I can have the best outcome and success in my life so I want to go back to one of our um, steps, recognizing your limiting belief. I suggest that you write, like I said before, write this down so we can change it to something positive. Write, writing this, um, writing your limiting beliefs down allows you to realize it for the rest of your mind. But I want you all to change this limiting belief into something that is um that make that is something that can be achievable achievable change the fact that no one likes me to one that the right people love me um do you guys see how like how powerful that is and to the, the fact that i'm too young and to i have plenty of time being young is an advantage the point is to make something negative into something that makes you feel good Positivity in your mind allows you to become the person you are within. So lifestyle hackers, start today and create the change you need. Well, thanks for watching this video and I really hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to um, like this video and subscribe. I hope you um, learned that changing your thinking al will allow you to become closer and closer to success. I know that you guys um, can do it and break this glass ceiling that to become the true self within, which which is one of my ultimate goals for this channel. And also, we're trying to um, support the children of Ukraine who are going through a lot at this time. The situation is worsening, and our prayers are with um, with them. There's a link in the description where you can donate and um, to these. Uh, to these people. Thank you all for your support for this channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, um, AKU, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.